investigation into 1MDB has revealed that a total of 927 million USD was found to have been deposited into XPM Dato Sri Najib Raza's M Islamic account. Deputy Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Noor Rashid Ibrahim says the money flowed through in three phases, namely through Goodstar, Abar Investments and Tanor Finance. All three companies had dealings with 1MDB. He adds that to date, there have been 132 illegal money transactions that have been identified and further investigations are ongoing. Also that more than 50 people, including local politicians and foreigners, are implicated in questionable cash transactions. On the subject of fugitive Lotek Jo, Rashid says his location would need to be kept a secret to avoid disruption to ongoing investigations. Other details concerning Jolo's spending are slowly coming to light. According to a Page Six report, Lo was reported to have gifted reality star Kim Kardashian and her ex-husband a white Ferrari worth 325,000 USD for their wedding. US federal prosecutors have said that Kardashian might have to give the car up. Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng says Putrajaya would be very lucky to even recoup just 30% of the funds lost through the 1MDB scandal. Currently on the Malaysian government's radar to bring the money home is Goldman Sachs, where PM Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad aims to recover some 4.5 million USD in fees. However, Lim warns that asset recovery from 1MDB is going to be slower than expected. FGV Holdings has suspended its group president and CEO Datu Zakaria Arshad with immediate effect. In a filing to the boards, FGV said that the board of directors had issued a notice of inquiry to Zakaria today following the conclusion of an internal investigation. The investigation was into 10 critical issues that FGV said resulted in financial loss for the company and its shareholders. However, FGV assured it would continue business as usual. In the interim, the special board committee comprising four FGV directors would take over the CEO's responsibilities. The four are Chairman Dato Wira Azhar Abdul Hamid, Dato Dr Salmia Ahmad, Dr Muhammad Nazib P Ali Tambi and Datin Hoi Lai Ping. Yesterday, Zakaria had shrugged off a letter from MOF Inc. informing FGV that it had withdrawn its support of Zakaria. Zakaria told DH Financial Daily that as far as he was concerned, he was not out. FGV had announced a share trade suspension from 3:29 p.m. to 5 p.m. today. Its pre-suspension price was one ringgit and 54 cent. Senior lawyer Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah has pleaded not guilty to charges of money laundering and making false statements. Shafi is leading the defense team for XPM Dato Sri Najib Raza, who has been charged with criminal breach of trust money laundering and abuse of power. According to the charge sheet, he was alleged to have engaged in two counts of money laundering by receiving proceeds from illegal activities amounting to 9.5 million ringgit, reports Malaysia Kini. The sum was allegedly transferred to Shafi in two tranches from a bank account belonging to Najib. The alleged offences were committed on September 2013 and February 2014. If found guilty under Section 4, Subsection 1A of the Anti-Money Laundering Anti-Terrorism Financing and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act 2001, Shafi will face a maximum jail term of five years, a fine of up to five million ringgit or both. As for the two counts of making false statements concerning the two transactions, he had violated the Income Tax Act 1967. If found guilty, he could face up to 15 years of jail time and fine not less than five times the value of the sum involved in the offence or five million ringgit, whichever is higher. Burma's Auto saw a 148% jump in first quarter FY19's net profit to 50.3 million ringgit, thanks to better sales, no GST, and better contribution from Associate Mazda. Revenue grew 24% to 485.4 million ringgit, and it declared an interim dividend of 2.5 cents a share. However, the better numbers were partly offset by its Philippines operation, where consumer sentiment tanked following the implementation of a new tax law. On prospects, Burma said the automotive industry is expected to remain challenging given the competitive trading environment, weakening ringgit and cautious consumer sentiment post-SST.